Hello everyone, this is John, back again with another review. Today I'm going to be doing a review that I was inspired to do by an episode of Good Mythical Morning, starring, starring Rhett and Link, where they had freeze-dried candies. I think the, the purpose was to see if they can identify what kind of candy they were eating uh, by the freeze-dried thing. Anyway, I have this box, and it is full of different things. If you saw my unboxing, you've seen what some of these things are, uh, but I'm just going to go one by one, taste a piece of each freeze-dried candy, tell you what I think. And you should probably see that episode of uh, Red and Link. Alright, the first one I grabbed was Marshmallows. Um, it appears inside that there's a few different types of marshmallows in here. So I'm definitely going to try... Not a lot of change to the way this looks. Maybe a little bit of shrinkage, but... Let's go ahead and taste it. Did you hear that? I'm also going to try one of these big ones. That was a very peculiar sound. The flavor is still marshmallowy. It, uh, it's actually quite delicious. The uh, texture, it just felt like uh, it was just frozen in time. And then all like the liquids were taken out of it. Freeze dried. Anyway, moving on. So we have cookie sandies. There's little wedges of cookies in here. They look like they were chocolate chip cookies with some kind of cream filling. Let's see. So you have the cookie and you have the cream. Freeze dried. Let's try it. The cookie itself kind of just tastes like a slightly stale cookie, not even like a really stale cookie. But the cream is similar to the marshmallow, how it just crunches, but it's a lot more dense than the, the marshmallow, less, less air pockets were created in the middle of it. still has all the the flavor of a chocolate chip cookie. It's actually really tasty. These don't have a label, but I believe these are Charleston shoes. Charleston shoes, I remember putting them in the freezer to make them hard and crunchy. A lot of the exterior chocolate on this She's like peeled away, broken back. Let's taste it. Really, no change to the exterior chocolate besides it breaking apart. It still melts in your mouth. It tastes like chocolate. The interior, though. It feels like there was just so much air in it. When you bit down into it, it's almost like popping a balloon. But instead of made of rubber, it's made of a candy shell. 
Tastes like a Charleston chew. I love the texture though. Here's one that I was interested in. Because sour worms are one of my favorite candies. I'm going to try to get that red blue one at the bottom because that's my favorite flavor. Does it move at all? It does have like a slight movement to it. So a little bit of the gummy is still there. Let's give it a taste. You're not going to be able to chew this quickly. If you want a jaw workout. It's still sour. Really fruity. Mm -hmm. I feel like the freeze dry of it kind of really opens up a lot of air pockets in there. Maybe it creates more surface area for your tongue. It's actually really fruity. Jolly Ranchers. This one has one of these. Can I really see them? Nope. It does have a little notch where you peel it, but you don't need to do that to get to it. There's a blue and a yellow. I'm just going to grab the blue one. And look how big that's gotten. I don't know if I should bite this or suck on it. Let's see what happens when I put it in my mouth. Definitely starts out very crispy. You can bite out. But then once you compress it all down, it creates like a hard candy in your mouth. I feel like all my molars are now just jolly rancher and crusted. But very interesting. It's probably the bag that I have the most of. Skittles. Uh, if I'm being truthful, since there was so much of these in here, when I first uh, opened everything, I did grab some of these. Got a bunch of them. See? They've broken out of the shell, spewed out all the candy in there. Let's taste it. Ooh, almost spilled it. Again, initially, you get this like light crisp. But really, once you masticate that all up, it almost turns right back into a normal Skittle texture. But, I will say this. Skittles, definitely not my favorite candy. I don't like the way 
it feels it feels like it's clacking against my teeth when I eat them. But I never dislike the flavor of them, and when you freeze dry them, it just like breaks open and creates like this airy crispy candy instead of like clacking against your teeth. It just kind of like crinkles against your teeth. And I think I enjoy that better. So skills, freeze dried, I like better than the original, for sure. The uh, marshmallows as well. Uh, let's go to ice cream sandies. Imagine this will be similar to the cookie sandies. Also, I don't say sandies. I'm just saying that because the label say sandies. I'm just saying cookie sandwich, ice cream sandwich. I don't know if that's like a regional thing to call them sandies. If you see this, looks like there's chocolate chips inside of the ice cream. You have your chocolate cookie bread sandwich. Let's give it a taste. That is muy delicioso. Ice cream cookie sandies. Freeze dried. I'm going to say these. I like better than the originals. Okay. We got some other things going to be chewy. We got airhead. Airheads are taffy. So imagine these were just cut from a big piece. You can see that little line right there in the middle that you get from uh, the wrapper of a airhead. Let's go ahead and taste it. See if it's crunchy or chewy. Mm. Wow. This had the initial crunch that I was ex expecting, but unlike some other things I've had where once you condense it down, it then becomes chewy again, this one almost had a, like a sweet tart type of reaction. If you get sweet tart, you bite it down. It's just dusty sugar. So, uh... It kind of just dissolves in your mouth. That's what I got from this one. They kind of like broke into powderiness. It just dissolved across your mouth. Which was interesting and flavorful. But do I like it better than regular heads? I don't know. It's a tough one because this one is. I actually, actually like sweet tarts, so. It does work pretty well. And we got an, uh, this one looks very interesting. Milk duds. Milk duds are like a caramel with a chocolate coating. And it looks like the chocolate coating and it's just gone. Look at that. It flattened. Looks like a teardrop in that direction. flavor but actually easier to chew and consume typically when you eat milk duds it's one of those really slow 
chew things. Kind of like the uh, the sour gummy. A regular sour gummy, you just chew up, eat them up. When they freeze dry them, it became just super chewy. Milk duds, normally, super sticky caramel, chewy. Freeze dry it. You can just keep popping those in your mouth. They're soft and delicious. Here we go, we have ice cream. Looks like there's two kinds. I'm just going to take the vanilla one in here. Um, it doesn't say what kind of ice cream, what company, but it looks like it, they just like kind of sliced some ice cream off a bigger chunk. It does smell like ice cream. So, crisp bite off the piece, but then like the moisture and the heat in your mouth just kind of like melts this into a really creamy consistency. This time I'm going to put this in my mouth and I'm going to try not to bite it. That's how you do that one. Freeze-dried ice cream was delicious. I don't know if I've said this before, but ice cream is one of my favorite desserts. Freeze-dried ice cream? Amazing. But what you need to do is not chew on it. You need to put that on your tongue and just give it just a slight sucking. You don't want to go all sucker on, on it. But like, just like after five seconds, it starts to just like melt and turn into like this delicious sugary creaminess. Next up we have, I believe, the other one that did not have a label on it. These are saltwater taffies. There's a red one and a pink one. Does look like a little, one of those saltwater taffies getting the wax wrappers. Give it a chew. Mm. It seems like. Freeze drying things really intensifies the flavor. I would taste it like a, had like a licorice flavor to it. But again, really interesting, crunchy sound to it when you eat it, similar to the marshmallows. Laffy Taffies. Another one that's supposed to be very chewy. But the consistencies of these things have been all over the place for what it was and what it should taste like. Laffy Taffies, depending on if you get them in the, the plastic wraps or in like the cube packs, they usually have a different consistency. One's definitely harder than the other one. Let's see what this looks like. What it feels like. I'm going to eat a freeze-dried Laffy Taffy. It follows the same methodology that the, the Airhead did. 
itself being a chewy candy, when you freeze dry it, it turns into more of a powdery, sweet tart consistency. What do we got here? High chews. High chews. We like Starburst. Another chewy fruit candy. So if it's going to be like another, all the other ones, it should like crumble into a powderiness and then dissolve on my tongue. Let's give this one a taste. That's exactly what it's doing. The high chews had a little more force required of the initial bite to break through it, but all the flavor of regular high chew. But again, it turns into that powderiness. Same thing, here we go Starburst. flavor starburst Let's see what happens it follows everything else it should like turn into a powder once I bite into it and dissolve this one's different So, Starburst acts a little bit different. It's definitely still condensed down into a little bit that I'm still chewing on. It didn't just turn into a dustiness that dissolved really quickly. It turned into there was some break down and dissolve, but it maintained some bit that condensed down into a chewiness. Well, here we go. Starburst minis. Should do the same thing, right? I think the purpose of many is you'll get a bunch of them and throw them in your mouth, so I have three of them. Let's see what happens. I was expecting a lot more condensing. But out of all the things I've had, the freeze dried Starburst minis, they're the hardest things. Even like hard candies I've had weren't that hard. Spreeze. It says regular spreeze, so I think there's a yeah, there's some sour spreeze in there too. Like the um, Skittles, the candy shell broke. The, the candy inside expanded. Let's try it. Mm. The interior. Busted up and dissolved very quickly. The exterior still held a little bit. So you left with a little bit of chew just from the outside shell. I like that one. Let's go ahead and try Sour Sprees. I got a 
blue one. See, it has a sourness to the outside. Unsurprisingly, it acts just like regular sprees. That's just sour. What do you think is left? Sweet tart minis. This bag is pretty full. A couple of them. So, this one didn't really change a lot. It still looks like its regular shape. This one definitely exploded out of its shell. It's tired. This one. You can tell one was different than the other. The exploded one definitely like just crumbled really quickly, dissolved. But the one that still held its original its original shape is much more chewy. Now and later's. I think I'm confusing this one for something else earlier. You see big pockets of bubbly air in that one. Now and later's are very hard to chew. Let's see what happens when we freeze dry. Mainly turns to dust. There's a little bit of stickiness when it conglomerates together. And it's the last one. Peach rings. I like peach rings because I like most gummies, but I prefer sour gummies. If this is anything like the other sour gummy, this should be very chewy once I break it down. And it still has a little bit of move to it. You can bend it a bit for you to taste. This one's gonna take a while. It's true. I'm glad I saved it for last. So, what did we learn? These things are hard when they're freeze dried. Did you know a professional food grade freeze dryer? It's like three to five thousand dollars. I've seen some ones that are not uh, marketed for food specifically for around 1000 But it's not something the everyday person should need to purchase. This is going to be all stock my teeth. I'm going to brush them. So, breaking this down, I'll tell you, 
gummy candies. Though they're my favorite candies. They're my least favorite. Freeze dry candies. Anything that's a a taffy, Starburst, regular taffy. I'm gonna count Skittles in this. Although there are many Skittles I did not like. They are very good. Laffy Taffies. Um, Laffy Taffy, Starburst. Now and laters, Skittles, saltwater taffy. I like those. I like that they turn into like a really flavorful dust, basically. Um, high chews as well, I would categorize in that. Airheads, I would categorize in that. Um. Sprees, sour sprees, many sweet tarts, very similar to the taffies, like those. Anything that's like creamy, which I'm going to count the cookies and cream, the Charleston chew, the ice cream, the ice cream sandwich, the milk bed, they're all very delicious. Especially like the ice cream, your tongue melts away. So good. The Jolly Rancher, also good. Not my favorite, so it's good. And the first one I tried, that marshmallow one. Such an interesting bite to it. And there you go. I still am chewing on a freeze dried pea train. But I'm glad I tried these. There's definitely some that I like more than the original. And definitely some I like less than the original. But overall, freeze dried candy, I like it. Um, as far as I know, there's no like professionals or brands that make these. There's a lot of like small shop. Uh, on Etsy that will sell you a wide variety of things I don't have in here for sure as well if you just go on Etsy search for freeze-dried candy work as a specific candy freeze-dried whatever that is I'm almost positive someone has made it let me go get a a pick for my teeth to get rid of all this stuck candy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.